should be arrested for trespassing. Why are we arrested for trespassing? Because the building management said so. This is what they do on the job. No, this is no. We want this recorded because we're here to see the Canadian consulate. We want to hear what he has to say about his genocide, his ethocide, and the torture of our Canadian women. No. Let us see it. That's very helpful. That's what happens when you're ignorant in the United States. You're going to sit by and you're going to let the Canadian consulate destroy this land, the air, the water, because of their greed. And you're going to participate and stand here and block us because we're their conscience because they don't have any. So be proud of yourselves. Stand there and be proud because you have no conscience. You're just as grimy and dirty as they are for blocking us from going up there and demanding accountability. They should be incarcerated and imprisoned for the murder of all the people who have died from cancers, from tar sands up in Canada and throughout the United States. So stand there and protect a bunch of murderers. Go ahead. But you better live with it too because when your relatives get it. Hey, fucking touch my mom. Hey, don't be touching on people and put eating chips. You just share. <laughs> <Chair. laughs> that counts as trolling, I believe. You are so disrespectful. You know, you're on Indian land and we're Indian people and you're going to sit there and eat chips in front of us and minimize the importance of this. We shared our land, shared your chips, brother. Officer. <laughs> Officer. Full A. Oh, oh, eight. Five zero. Eating Fritos. You think this is a big show? Everybody here is eating chips. Come on, oh eight six zero. You want to minimize your responsibility and push us around? Five zero. Did somebody record that he salted her over chips? Oh, my yeah. chips! <laughs> what is that? Fritos? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Fritos! Are you going to eat Fritos? <laughs> 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 surreal moment in Minneapolis, please. Oh, that consulate! So you guys see that! You guys we see want to talk to the consulate. You guys see him? Are you fake? Oh, and I saw you. Is this a public oh, oh, I didn't quit. I, didn't quit. I put it in my hand on his bag of chips. Did, did, did you make it? Yes. Why can't you make this over here? The public yeah. Yeah. There's Canadian yeah. people here from yeah. Canada yeah. that yeah. want to see us. They're right here. Oh, Nina's here yeah. and Raymond's here and they're from Canada and they're here to go see the Canadian consulate. Well, I would suggest you make an appointment. No, we don't need to make an appointment because the people pay for this job. Does everybody have an appointment that comes through here? Yeah, I don't think that's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. Stop lying for them. Okay. Well, and to know that these are all going to circulate the internet and your lies are going to be on the So all make the sure that you. All of what them. is your name since you're so proud to stand here and uh, eat chips? Bully. What is it? <laughs> say it. Bully? Say your name because you're going to go all over the internet and no, circulate all over bully. the world. The, the chip eaters. <laughs> well, we're here talking about land and we're talking about air and quality and they, water the police and you and are going to sit there and eat and chips and be disrespectful step. like it's a joke. You're, you're here shouting at us. Well, you know, we need to shout because nobody else wants to listen. It's disrespectful. And you, it's, and it's, you, it's disrespectful to eat. Stop it. Assault me over a bag of chips. You better stop. Oh, is it disrespectful? Oh, would you just stop with the minimizing? It's normally our lunch no. hour. Well, why are you here then? Go to lunch. We had a miss You are out to lunch. They're getting overdone. This is this is really the the issue here is what is the issue? Is I absolutely respect your right to assemble out here and engage in free speech, and that's perfectly acceptable to do it out here. This is private property. Private. When did the government go private? Well, then you need to tell the Canadian consulate to move around and get out of this building so people can have access to them from Canada. I will pass on your concerns. Absolutely. Oh, I didn't know you were their messenger too. Do they, do they pay you for your job the way we do? You just asked me to tell them. That. I thought you were a security guard. No, we would like tell them ourselves. Like pass that on to them. Well. No, we'd like to tell them ourselves. Yeah. We can speak for ourselves. We're adults. We're educated. Well, like I said, I would suggest you call and make an appointment to speak uh, to somebody. Hey, this is a consulate, and the Canadians want to speak to their representative. Yeah. Is it legal for?
for them to like prevent Canadians from going to their own diplomatic complex? Like, well, I'm not even. Tell them we're here exactly. to meet with them. Like, I'm not their messenger. Well, okay. obviously you are, since you're passing messages back so, and forth. So, is it legal to bar uh, Canadian citizens from their own diplomatic facility? Can you explain? Is that legal? But the, they're, they're Canadian citizens, though. Are, is it legal to bar them? I'm from Canada. Am I barred from talking to my okay. but, So, is it legal to bar Canadian citizens from their own consulate? Is it legal to bar Canadian citizens from visiting their own diplomatic facility? How is that required? How can it be required to re require appointments to get to, for Canadians to get to their own diplomatic complex? Debate about it. I'm just telling you. What, well, we need citations about why why it's lawful to bar. What, and what, you what and the government of Canada do not to come in here consent in, in anybody. Do you know what you're doing? You know what you're participating in right now? Do you know what all three of you are participating in? Do you think that this is law abiding? Sure. No. What you're doing is you're participating in an action called genocide, ecocide. No. Have you ever heard of the Jewish Holocaust? You are participating in something just as similar to that, and you all can sit there and shake your heads and be proud of your actions. Person back there you know, taking pictures. To be a murderer? Back Thank there. you. Is that what you're saying? Oh! You got that right. I got all your guys' badges and numbers, by the way. If you guys, guys want to continue your, your rally, Jean Nelson 4973 Sergeant and uh, LRD Chisholm L Y S H O L M 4309. What are you going to tell your grandkids about the role you played in this moment of our Earth's history? I'm, I'm not their messenger. What are you going to tell them when they look at you and say, what did you do? What were you doing there then? It's a private property. This isn't private property. This is not owned by the Canadian government. It's not private property. It's not private property. You don't even know your own laws and you wear the badge. <laughs> this is a private property. I don't know. I mean, you're getting it. I have no idea. So anyone that come here, you need to help without to make an appointment. What do you need? Are you a Canadian citizen, sir? Yes, I am. Can I see you? Well, like I said, just, just, um, just, you're Canadian you know, I think you would be better off just making an appointment. My family left Canada many, many years ago. Good. We're going to watch you there anyways. Where from? All right. All right. I'm going to ask you to step back here. I'm going to close this door. Step on back. Okay, so are, hey, are you going to physically arrest the Canadians who come into this building? You really don't want to physically arrest them. Okay. Okay. But there are people who are here from Can Canada. Are you going to arrest them if they <laughs> come in? Okay, then let them in. Let us all in. What is the deal? You're going to close the door on him. You're going to close the door on him? No. On him. You're gonna close the door on him? And he did ask to show something. Hey, don't touch him like that. Now you're being disrespectful. Shut the door here. Now you're being disrespectful. Hey! Step in, push. You're fucking Canadian, buddy. Canadian, buddy. Canadian, buddy. Canadian, buddy. Just go through the skyway. They have their chips secured. Canadian, right here. Hey, look at it. Canadian. Canadian citizen. Canadian citizen barred from his own diplomatic complex. Come on! I'm a Canadian. I'm from Manitoba. I'm a Cree from Manitoba. Canada, Quebec, Canada, Canada, Quebec, Canada, We're from Canada. Don't you have a right to be there? I'm from Canada. You gonna you gonna lock the doors on me? Are they supposed to represent me from down here? Don't represent us. Manitoba, Cree. Are you gonna, you don't want to speak to me? You chicken. They work for the Minneapolis Police Department. Hmm. You want to stay with? You know, I would have worked at some point.